busy sewing um something i would um, go ahead and make this my first uh video i don't know how to do it live or whatever like like they do but you know, it's a recording it's done what can i say so i am sewing up creed and emily's wedding quilt how pretty well that's the backside there's the front. What it's going to be is look like this. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. It's called a chandelier. Um, it's really quite pretty. I love the colors on this. Anyway, so I thought, okay, today's a good day. I'll um, go ahead and uh, just kind of do an introductory. Not a real long one um, because I'm kind of concentrating. Um, anyway, a lot of people have asked me, um, how did I hear of the Credence and Bishop show? Well, it was, I'm going to say it, it's been a year now, maybe longer, I don't know, but anyway, and it was, it was uh, during a chase because I absolutely love chases. I love, love, love them. I live for them. Living in California, um, you just can't, you couldn't get enough. And they were always at me day after day after day. Not many of them are, are um, um, televised. Not many are, are, um, are known, but there are a lot of chases. Anyway, because they're just jerks in California, that's why I don't live there anymore, because they're just jerks. And it's actually, to me, it's terrifying to live there now. So anyway, so the first, when I first heard of Credence and Bishop show was during that really long, long chase that there was in the Inland Empire. And it was like, what, six, eight hours or something, and the guy was going like 20 miles an hour of that on the freeway. It was just really stupid. I don't know why the police don't stop them immediately, but I guess that's for another story. Anyway, it was during that chase that um, I was looking at um, watching the, the chase on the news station and their feet cut out and as it does in the Inland Empire, their feet cuts out. Or the helicopter had to do some, I don't know. But anyway, so I panicked because that chase was not over. So I go on to Google and I Googled live chases. And lo and behold, what, no, I went on to YouTube. And what, and what do you think comes up? Credence and Bishop show because they're live. What the heck, cat? That freaking nerve. Beat you out of here. You don't pay rent anyway. Anyway, um, so I go onto, onto YouTube and I Googled live chases and Credence and Bishop show comes on and I'll be darned, they were on, they were live. So I went ahead and switched over and watched it from there. That's also the time I sent my very first um, don't know. Um, Credence and Mikey both say it was, at that time, the biggest one, the first big one they've ever gotten. And it was only like $20, $25. It wasn't, to me, it was not that much, trust me. So uh, that was the first one I, um, I was able, I watched on the, on the We Gotta Chase thing. And I was hooked. I was hooked from day, from the very beginning, only because um, I loved their commentary. They are so funny in the way they speculate about things. Um, it, it's hysterical. And what's even funnier is when something happens, Mikey's face just literally cracks me up because it's like he's not expecting it. Um, 
he's so um what what not dramatic but he's he's so expressive um and so i i was hooked so i got i even got my brother james hooked on it now so now i watch everything and a lot of times i'm just i'm in the background i'm lurking because i'm sewing or you know doing something and um so i'm just i'm just moderating and um and uh sewing and uh that's how it that that comes about i guess on the on the credence and bishop show i'm also known as the bully trust me i am no bully i have got to be one of the sweetest old women you will ever meet in your life it's just me i don't know why i got that name stuff but i did anyway stony stop it my god i'm on tv kidding he's not here uh but wouldn't you love to see that oh my god that is my that is my thing i just want to so i so want to do have him here me be there him snuggled up in one of the quilts I made. Wouldn't that just be a freaking hoot? I love it. Anyway, I don't know why I'm so infatuated with that poor guy. Oh, crap. Oh, that just didn't turn out, did it? No, nope, I got to fix that. Anyway, so um, wouldn't that just be a hoot? I don't know why I'm so infatuated with this guy. It's just maybe he's just some lost soul. And... The mother in me kind of reaches out. I know he's uh, he was an orphan, and um, he was adopted, and um, he it's it's his so his story is kind of sad, and um, my heart just just went goes out to this dude. He he kind of has fallen into the um, wrong crowd at times. Um, but you know, whatever we talk, um, he is—he's just a really, really kind soul. He's misunderstood, and um, you guys should have the passion for him that I do. It's just—it's awesome. Anyway, um, anyway, so I'm just here sewing, making this quilt. My next quilt I want to make for um, Mikey and his wife. You know, got to get them both one. Um, and we'll see where, see where that goes. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, um, feel free to leave a comment. I, I would love to answer them and I will. And eventually I'll figure out how to go YouTube live so that we can converse back and forth. We can comment and, um, we'll just do it that way. And, um, Hey, until next time, love you guys. Bye.